Hello, I'm Bob Moore with Supermicro, and we're here today for this Tech Talk to talk about the new Supermicro single socket cloud DC and wide I.O. servers. Of course, these are based on the now available Intel fourth generation Xeon scalable processor. Unfortunately, I have Alexander Yu with me today, the senior product engineer who's going to go through all the technical details about that. Uh, but first, let's talk about how Supermicro is differentiated for the cloud system market, and we'll take a look at the 2U. We've got the 1U and the 2U here. Let's talk about the performance and other things. Now, this is, of course, a static unit, and normally we would have the cover on, but we removed that so you can talk to some of the details. So give us a little bit of information on how we're differentiated in serving that cloud system market. Glad to be here, Bob. So we understand that our cloud and data center customers are looking for the best performance while minimizing the server skews they'll have to maintain. That's why our X13 single socket cloud DC servers support 350 watt CPU TDP and great flexibilities with distinct configurations. Our TU cloud DC here is a powerhouse for deep learning training and AI inferencing with its support for two double width GPUs like the NVIDIA latest A100. It can also be spec'd as a network appliance servers where up to six regular PCIe NICs and one OCP 3.0 NIC can be fitted into the servers for maximum network bandwidth. That's great, and so much expansion and growth in that AI market, so it's good to hear that this is good for that particular workload. That's the 2U, and of course the 1U here, located right here. Why don't you give us a little bit of information on that? We can actually pull it out a little bit if you'd like to. There you go, we've got the lid on that one, but this is the new next generation uh, 1U. Tell us about it. Right, so our 1U CalDC server is developed under the same philosophy of being flexible. It is great for AI Edge applications with dual A2 GPUs, or it can be used as part of the Intel virtual content delivery network. The server is also excellent when work is a storage head node. Connect the JBot into the servers through external SAS controller card, and those JBot can harness the latest power of Intel fourth generation scalable processors. So thanks, Alexander. We've talked a lot about the Intel uh, scalable processor fourth generation that's in here, but how about some of the other details, the memory, uh, the drive, storage, that kind of thing? For sure. Our 2U and 1U Cloud DC servers support almost every single fourth generation Xeon scalable processor out there. And that includes the XCCs, MCCs, and even HBM ones. With their optimized thermal design, both systems can support up to 60 cores or 350 watt CPUs using fans only. This is very attractive for customers that don't want the added premium or complexities of the liquid cooling solutions while still wanting that best performance out of their servers. On the memory side, both our systems use the same motherboard, so they both have 16 DDR5 memory slots. This is essential for virtualization workload, which asks for large memory pool or this is just for memory cost savings. Finally, our 1U Cloud DC servers offer 10 2.5 inch SAS or SATA drive base with all hybrid MMEs. Our 2U Cloud DC servers host 12 3.5 inch SAS or SATA drives with two of them being MME hybrid. Wow, thank you, that's a really great rundown and good to hear about the air cooling because not all of our customers have the infrastructure for liquid cooling, so you do a great job being energy efficient with this on an air-cooled uh, system, so thank you for that. That's our goal. Now, let's shift to the new X13 wide I.O. system that we have here in the 1U. So this is the 1U, the new next generation X13 Supermicro uh, wide I.O. system. Really excited about the features of this, Alexander, but in particular, the top loading is a new capability that you guys have designed in, so that's pretty spectacular and a great feature. Why don't you talk about that and we'll get into the GPUs and options that are in there. Go ahead. For sure. So we have totally reimagined the rear window and expansion assembly for our X13 UPWL servers. By using a complete toolless design, the customer can add or remove the add-on card without the need for a screwdriver. Another benefit of this new design is the ability to install the add-on card before you top loading that extension assembly down to the chassis. This essentially allows a double width GPU to finally work in our 1U W systems. I'm very excited about this feature because this is simply not possible in our previous W generations due to mechanical interference. 
Well, thanks, Alex. And I'm going to put you to the test now. I happen to have a GPU that's, uh, we're going to see if you can top load that thing. Let's see how that might work. That was easy, there top loading. Yeah, a uh, proof point there and how great that capability is and, and the great design that we've got there. Before we move on, any of the other technical details you might want to go uh, into, uh, especially the, the wattage, the dims across the, this wide I.O. system? Sure thing. So there are three server SKUs. We have two one-use SKUs that either with four 2.5-inch drive base or 10 2.5-inch drive base with all hybrid MMEs. We also have a two-use SKUs that support eight 3.5-inch drive base with four of them being MME hybrid. The maximum CPU TDP is capped at 300 watts, and there are eight DDR5 memory slots across all the three SKUs. And since this is the WIO phone factors, we can have up to two full high full length PCI Gen 5 expansion slots plus one more low power slots in one U, and then we can have up to three full high full length slots and two more low power slots in two U. Wow, okay, that sounds good. That's a good rundown on that. And, and you know, uh, the vast majority probably of servers out there have got the two sockets, but no more and more it's popular to have the single socket or the UP as we call it here. What are some of the benefits? What's the trend you're seeing from our customers? And that's why we've got a UP in the system. We definitely see this trend of increasing demand for single socket servers. And I think those are for good reasons. Customers often turn to UP servers for their excellent performance and great value. I would also like to point out that Intel is pushing with us by offering more 1S single socket only CPUs in their first generation Xeon scalable lineups. Our UP server also offer a faster return on investment and savings on software licenses and electric bills. It is indeed a very attractive value proposition for our customers. That sounds excellent. Thanks for all the information. That was very educational for me. Alexander, thanks for being here with us. Good to be here. And thanks for taking time to watch this Tech Talk. Goodbye for now. Learn more at www.supermicro.com.